Hi, I'm Pamela Ehrman, National Real Estate Trainer and Coach. Let's take five minutes together to explore how to create real estate teams that work. Teams are a viable growth vehicle for a real estate agent. But no matter how good you are, you still only have 24 hours in a day. But starting a real estate team is more than just hiring a buyer's agent. Growing a team, which is nothing more than growing your business, and remember, you are a business owner, should be done by moving through very specific, predictable stages of development. Years ago, I was introduced to a Harvard School of Business study that addressed the five stages of business growth. I immediately understood why so many agents had tried and failed at the real estate team concept. They were out of order. So let's go one stage at a time and put first things first. Stage one, existence and creativity. I call this the who, what, where, when, why, and how stage. Who are you targeting? What sets you apart from every other competitor in your market? What is your unique selling proposition? Even more important, what are your core values? Creativity demands that you not only get your share of the market, but develop enough brand awareness that you begin attracting your competitor's share as well. This is what leads to sustainable growth and the need for further support. Stage two, direction. You're getting busy and you're feeling like it's too much for one person. However, the immediate solution should not be to hire an administrative person or a buyer's agent to help you carry the load, especially if you have no systems and procedures in place to plug them into. Assess your business practices. What are the systems you're missing? Success that can't be systematically reproduced by someone you hire will actually create more work for you. If they can't plug into a system, they will try to plug into you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now here's the caveat. If you're lacking in organizational aptitude, you may need to blend stages two and stages three. Stages three, delegation or hiring administrative support. I'm sure there are many of you that would love to already have systems and procedures in place, but the truth is they'll most likely never happen if you're left to create them alone. Hiring experienced, and let me reiterate that, experienced administrative support can solve that issue. Virtual support or an assistant who shares um, your space are both legitimate options, and a combination may even be your best solution. Here's what you really accomplish at this stage. Now think about this, you are your best associate. You don't need to be trained, you have the same work ethic, and your core values are exact. Maximize yourself first. Ensure that every hour you spend is high dollar productivity hours and not lower dollar administrative work. When you do this, expect a growth spurt. Stage four, coordination or the hiring of sales support. Now think about this. We're on stage four and this is the very first time we're talking about team associates from a sales perspective. How many of you jump to this stage? Hire a buyer's agent at the first sign of being overwhelmed with activity. Developing the foundational stages before this is necessary. Is it becoming more obvious why it may not have worked out in the past? Done correctly, this stage allows you to become more productive and start buying back your life at the same time because you can plug them into systems, presentations, and administrative support instead of creating a 24-hour-a-day mentoring role for you. Stage five, collaboration. You've done a great job on the first four steps, so now you should have a cohesive, coordinated group of people working together to support the success of an entire team. A full-time management effort is most likely necessary at this point, especially since our business requires your business to consistently reinvent itself. You must also keep a consistent stream of leads and business opportunities flowing into your team. You have a decision to make. Are you the best person to fill that role or should you remain a viable member of your labor force, your sales team, and promote maybe another person who's better equipped to fill this position of leadership? Are you out of order? Then consider the five stages of business growth. When followed correctly, 
they should be the difference between a real estate team being the worst thing that ever happened to you or the best thing that's ever happened to your business.